In this presentation, we're going to talk a little bit about web workers. Uh, web workers allow us to execute some tasks in JavaScript without disrupting the user interface or the interaction between the user and your application. So sometimes you have a lot of work to do in JavaScript. Sometimes you just got something that's processing intensive, or you've got to load a lot of resources from the server, or something that just, just generally takes a lot of time to, to execute. Uh, since JavaScript is single threaded, this can cause some problems for you because uh, if you are, you know, like if, if you are doing a whole lot of processing and the user clicks a button, since JavaScript is single threaded, you're going to have to wait for all of that processing to be done before you actually handle that button click. And that can really degrade the user experience. So what can you do? Well, the straightforward solution to this problem is just to use a web worker. So web workers introduce a separate threading mechanism to your application. Uh, the code does have some limitations. For example, you can't directly manipulate uh, DOM code from your, from your web worker. Uh, but you do get some useful capabilities. Uh, number one, and probably the most obvious thing, is that you can separate all of this resource loading code or all of this processing code from the rest of your application. So it's, it's handy handled in a single file. But the other nice thing is that you now have this other computational resource where this code can execute without disrupting that user experience. So you, you, you define a bunch of code that does this work, and then when this code is ready to, to communicate something, it can send a message. So basically, when you start a worker, it's going to continue to execute the code until it's done. Uh, but you know the, the code itself will, will be able to communicate through this, this uh, post message uh, call. So all of your code for workers is typically defined in some separate JS file. Uh, and when you, need to, when you need to update or you need to send some information or something's ready, you can use post message and then handle that event in your calling code and the code that is managing those workers. So in the next slide, we'll take a look at what this looks like. Uh, you can see this allows you to, to execute your JavaScript sort of behind the scenes in the browser. So we're going to create a worker here and uh, we're going to populate that worker with this JavaScript file. So again, this is just going to be a static resource on your on your web application. Uh, you know, again, this is a relative path to where we are currently operating, where this JavaScript is currently executing. Um, so once we created that worker, it's going to load that JavaScript file from the server, and then it's just going to run that file. It's going to execute that file. Now we're defining uh, this this on message, which allows allows us to uh, to do something with data. So if you can take a look at this previous slide, here we're just going to post a message with some particular information. Here we're going to receive that message uh, in, in our calling code and uh, it's going to get some kind of, it's going to get something, whatever that parameter is. Um, now when we're all done, we just terminate it and it's usually a good idea to, to release it as well so that it can be picked up by, uh, by the system. So pretty straightforward way to, to just execute some code. A common thing that you might want to do is, you know, if you're loading any type of data or feed, you can start this uh, this web worker to load all of that in the background. Maybe in your primary user interface, you load a few bits of data so you can populate the UI with something. But uh, this web worker in the background can then populate the rest of this so that as users scroll, you don't have to wait for more and more data to be loaded. So this can be pretty useful. Now take a look at these slides. There are, there are more tutorials and more explanations linked uh, so that you can, you can really dig into this topic if you like. Uh, web workers can really help to make your code more efficient and make the user experience a lot better by separating some of those loading tasks away. Uh, so hopefully this is useful. Thank you for watching.